नमस्ते ट्यूटर्स प्राइड एडुटेक प्राइवेटली चेस्टुन्न टो बंटी उपाध्याय ये ली उपाध्याय ये लायक का गावरवा सन्मान अवार्ड प्रधानोत्सव अमलो प्रति समाचरमो अक्टूबर रेंडव तारीख ना गांधी जयंती रोजना निर्वाहिस्तो बन्ना मो 2020 लो पैंडमिक सिचुएशन एर्पड़ी ना की कोड़ा आइडियल टीचिंग अवार्ड प्रोग्राम नो टूटर्स प्राइड ऑनलाइन द्वारा निर्वाहिस्तो उन्दी as usual गा अक्टूबर रेंडो तारीख ना निर्वाहिस्तो बन्ना मो इटू वन टे प्रोग्राम नो पैंडमिक सिचुएशन लो कोड़ा उपाध्याय ने उपाध्याय लो तक गरने दिए दादा आपका आरुवेला आयु वंदला पाई चिलकु नामिनेशंस नहीं अंधे को उड़न जरिये दी ये को नामिनेशंस नहीं जूरी कमेटी वारु अलगे मैनेजमेंट कमेटी वारु परिसीलिस्तो वनारु मदरटिस लेवल नंदे सेकंड लेवल को वैली नटु वन्टे प्रोफाइल्स नहीं ऑनलाइन द्वारा सब्जेक्ट रिसोर्स कमेटी नको फॉरवर्ड चेयर अंदर गुत नहीं अंदर लो भागेंगा ईरोजु लाइव सेशन में डॉक्टर ए श्रीनिवास लगारू बीटेक एमटेक फ्रॉम आईआईटी पीएचडी वेरु टीचिंग लो मोड़ नालों के समुच्चरण निच वर्क के तो रिसर्च वर्क लो कोड़ा उन्नतो बनारो वीरियों का लाइव क्लास नो ये प्रमाणम चूस कुन्ना मो वारे डे मी को लाइव लो परिचय मचेस्तु नान डॉक्टर सिंहवासल गारु सर थैंक यू फॉर इंट्रोडक्शन Thank you. Start your lesson. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Uh, today, I would like to explain the latest trend in IT field. We get our students for before going to introduction. I would like to introduce myself. I am Dr. I have done my B.Tech from Srivankeshwa University, Tirupati, and I have completed my Master of Technology with the Intelligent System Specialization at Tripulati Ahadha, and I have completed my Ph.D. from J.T. Anathapur in the field of computer science engineering. I have, I have 18 years of teaching and research experience, and before going to the topic, I would like to Thank for IDAT awards. They are conducting this section inside, and uh, successfully they are conducting online uh, classes for us uh, between uh, teachers and the students community. And uh, once again, uh, I am uh, thank and uh, congratulating the IDAT award uh, uh, section. And uh, uh, my to the jury members, uh, today I am going to explain what is happening in the IT field, that uh, is big uh, data analytics using Spark. Okay, so uh, I think uh, everybody knows the uh, latest buzzword in the market right now big data. What is big data? How do we generate the analytics from the big data using Spark and technology? And nowadays, uh, in this period, pandemic period, there are so many COVID cases are there. So, taking a number of uh, images from the pandemic disease, and we are analyzing that the images 
with the help of machine learning algorithms and we are generating interested analytics for this uh, topic so today i would like to give a introduction about uh, big data analytics what is big data and why do we study big data what are the analytics we are generating and uh, all those uh, concepts i am going to share with you before going to uh, this uh, before going to this topic uh, what is mean by uh, big data and why do we study big data and what the technologies we are using and um, what are the there is such challenges available in that big data analytics i am going to start so the inquisition of big data analytics we need to start with the data data is the raw material or facts or images and the processed data is called information and the collection of interrelated data is called a database collection of properties and we are managing such type of database with help of software such as db2 sql mysql data hadoop various technologies we are applying and we are getting results from that one and that is called uh, 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 analytics we are generating Com combination of is called database and subset of data warehouse is called a data mart and collection of data marts and uh, analytical processing and we are storing huge amount of data in the servers and uh, data centers is called uh, data mining data warehousing from the data warehousing we are extracting meaningful interest data is called data mining by applying machine learning algorithms we are extracting interest analytics and uh, the data analytics deals with the three p's like volume density variety okay and uh, coming to uh, the beautiful definition of big data is a high volume high density and high variety information assets that demand cost effective information forms of information process i mean intuitive forms of information processing for enhanced insight and decision making that means that we need in the high volume high density and high variety and the data is too large complex and dynamic for the conventional data tools to capture store manage analyze we are using a uh, big data what are the big data characteristics there are three important characteristics data volume volume say the size of the data whether we are handling the megabytes of data gigabytes of data terabytes of data petabytes gigabytes terabytes And data by data by what type of what is the size of the data we are handling that is called data volume. Then data velocity we are handling the data at the at the rate of speed. Then we are handling the real time data, near time data, periodic data, mass processing data. What type what type of data we are handling? Then coming to the data variety, data variety. See that what type of files we are handling in the real environment. See whether we are handling unstructured data such as audio, video, text, graphics, animation. Whether the old data, video data, unstructured data, and uh, coming to uh, SQL data files, flat files. So how many of you know flat files? Flat files is nothing but document files, Excel sheet files. Spreadsheets, open presentations, and document. Uh, uh, those are the flat files we usually call it as. What is the caption of big data? See, big data is the process of getting a large amount of data or variety of types to uncover hidden patterns, unknown correlations, and other useful information. The 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 big data caption is more data leads to the more knowledge. More knowledge leads to the more money. That is the caption of the data. More knowledge leads to better customer engagement, fraud prevention, and a new product. Yeah. 
then uh, see facebook alone generates more than 1000 terabytes of data daily 10000 terabytes of data daily whereas many other organizations like the stock exchange supermarkets geographical uh, information system terabytes of data now terabytes of data are there generating so big data is a collection of data sets which is so large and complex that it is difficult to handle using the dms tools that's why they are going to use uh, hadoop and spark in the environment there are three types of big uh, data we are handling in the real time environment one is structured data what is meant by structured data these data is organized in a highly mechanized and manageable way examples tables and actions legacy data is unstructured data what is meant by unstructured data this data is a raw and unorganized it varies in its content and change from entry to entry examples audio video image text data graph data social media data such kind of data is called unstructured data coming to third one semi structured data combination of 50% structured data and 50% unstructured data we are handling so xml data is 50% and 50% are structured data that is audio video text graphics and animation we are handling so data growth is huge and the whole of the data is valuable data won't fit in a single system that's why we use distributed data what is meant by distributed data that is nothing but fast for computation parallel learning all the nodes in the data center Big data matters for what? Aggregate data, statistic data, indexing the data, searching the data, finding the data, discovering knowledge. So usually, using the data in big data runs, everybody knows computer understands only zero and ones. Computer understands only binary system. So big is equal to zero or one. So this is equal to one. It was just a reminder. the concept what we are discussing so a byte is equal to 8 bits one nibble is equal to 4 bits one byte is equal to 4 bytes 1024 bytes is equal to 1 kilobyte 1024 kilobytes is equal to 1 megabyte 1024 megabytes is equal to 1 gigabyte 1024 gigabytes is equal to 1 terabyte 1024 terabytes is equal to 1 petabyte 1024 petabytes is equal to 1 hectares 1024 he- hectares is equal to 1 yb petabytes 1024 petabytes is equal to 1 gigabytes that means after that uh, as i have searched in the google there are two more terminologies presented such as 1024 z is equal to 1 protobytes 1024 protobytes is equal to 1 gigabytes the dio dio byte not the dio dio byte keep in mind this is the measurement we are uh, handling in the real time environment that is called uh, measuring the data in data analysis uh, this is the process of data big data is everywhere and you can help organizations any industry I mean, any industry in any many different ways that they are taking huge amount of data. Big data has become too complex and too dynamic. We are able to process the data, store the data, analyze the data, and finally manage it with the traditional data tools. Many sources are ERP data, transactions data. Public data, social media data, sensor media data, big data in marketing, big data in healthcare, life sciences, cameras data, mobile data, mobile devices data, mission sensors, microphones, various uh, resources are there. We take the structure of big data as a combination of uh, data sources and big data analytics and analytics. Data sources are. Uh, Uh, we are having uh, two types of data so the structured data structured data to process these data we are using 
will take a do such as hadu hi back to you matla or python go with sandwiches we are using and finally we are generating our textbook dashboards by these intelligent databases reports and uh, scorecards are generating all the five formats uh, we are handling the big data environment we are handling the file format video audio images photos logs click trails text messages emails documents books transactions public records flat files sql files db2 files msq files data files mxs ms access files various file formats we are handling the real time environment See, having the characteristics of big data, not only three Bs, there are four more Bs are present there. Those are veracity, value, validity, reliability. So I have already explained the three Bs, volume, veracity, reliability. Now I am going to explain veracity. Data, data in messiness is called veracity. Data is in fuzziness cloudy or messiness of the data or can be personal data. No. Such type of data is called veracity. Value data alone is not enough. How can we value be derived from it? Validity ensure that the interpreted data is sound. Visibility data from diverse sources need to be stitched together. That is called visibility. These are the seven Bs: value, veracity, variety, veracity, value, value, visibility. These are the seven pieces of uh, big data environment. What are the great advantages of big data? This is a flexible schema. Schema is nothing but a piece of table. And the massive scalability. Scalability is nothing but increase in the size of the data. Cheap to set up, improving healthcare, public health, national trading. Improving security and law enforcement. No declarative by language. Real performance. Detect the resistance and fraud. Reduce cost. This is uh, uh, the 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 major advantages of big data. Reduce cost and detect the resistance and check fraud. Make processes more efficient and understand customer needs better. So these are the four advantages. And uh, usually, disadvantages everybody knows. So, uh, data violates the privacy principle. Data can be used for manipulating customers. Big data may increase social stratification. Big data is not useful in short run. Faces difficulties in parsing and interpreting. Big data is difficult to handle. More programming, eventual consistency, fewer guarantees. And uh, coming to what are the different challenges of big data? Data complexity. We are unable to understand uh, the huge amount of data. So data volume is a problem. Data density is also a problem because of internet. Data variety. Variety nothing but different file formats are handling real time environment. It is also a challenge. And uh, curation data, and performance data. Transferring the data, visualization of the data, and privacy and security. So, privacy and security also one of the major challenges in data analytics. The according to Gartner survey, he explained the major challenges of big data. Those are data complexity. He has given rank one for data complexity. Data values. It is also a problem, and the performance. It is also a problem. Skills, data quality, cost. These are the various uh, challenges of uh, big data. And uh, see, if you would like to do research on big data analytics, I am going to give you a few areas where you can register uh, in this uh, topics and register PhD. And you can take this uh, problem such as sentiment analysis big data model using macro visual algorithms, or uh, opinion mining analysis, opinion mining analytics. See, uh, recently Barack Obama and uh, even Barack Obama and even Biden were also won elections for opinion mining. 
So in the background, there are data scientists uh, has done tremendous work on the uh, uh, opinions of the people data. They have collected huge amount of opinions collected from all over the all over the India, and each state have analyzed which states are weaker for the so and so party. They have given uh, very tools. They have given uh, so many resources for them. They have attracted like that. That's why they have won the elections. So predictive mining politics, and this is one more area you can do research. Post clustering, pre clustering. How can we capture and deliver data to right people in real time environment? That is also one of the challenge. How we can handle the range of our forms and data? How we can store and analyze data given its size? Size is huge. As a human being, uh, you are alone generating thousands of uh, data, thousands of uh, megabytes of data generating per day. These are the research challenges. So, if you take, uh, uh, if you take in model itself, processing performance is a challenge. Cost of modularity, class imbalance, and uh, cost of dimensionality. Each engineering non-linearity and own uh, for non-linear principle variance and bias. If you see velocity data availability and uh, real-time data processing, streaming and the concept is independent. And, uh, that is that we are handling in the real-time environment. And Veracity says that data prop, data uncertainty, dirty and noisy data we are handling. And there are five biggest challenges. And we are uh, just now we have explained those things. And uh, coming to uh, what are the applications, uh, what are the big data tools we are handling uh, in order to in the real time environment. So there is a Hadoop, Spark, Hive. Scala, HBase, Flink, Informatica, and Tableau, and Solar. These are the top 10 tools available in the internet. You can search and you can, you can give a rating for that one and you can choose for your own application which tool is applicable. And where we can use these applications in big data environment. Usually we are using social networks and relationships. Cyber physical models we can use, Internet of Things, retail marketing, retail banking, real estate, fraud detection and prevention. Wherever data is presented, it is applicable. We can use this big data technologies in telecommunication field and healthcare and research, automotive and production, science and research, trading analytics. We are using uh, various applications of big data environment. If you see smarter healthcare system and multi-channel sales in finance, lab analytics, homeland security, even in traffic control, we can use telecom and such quality, manufacturing, trading analytics, even uh, fraud and risk analytics and uh, retail marketing, we can use this big data analytics. And coming to the, uh, how do we use uh, Spark? Uh, Spark is a, one of the uh, famous and fast computing tool. And uh, what are the Spark? Uh, uh, yeah, Spark is a, a free and open source software web application framework and domain specific language written in Java programming. Spark is an alternate uh, to other Java web application frameworks such as such as JAX RS, Play Framework, and Spring MVC, Model View Controller. Apache Spark is a general purpose cluster in-memory computation computing system. It provides high-level APIs in Java, Scala, and Python, and an optimized engine that supports general execution of query language that is called SPL for Structured Data Processing, MLIP for Machine Learning Applications. And why do we prefer Spark? It is fast, 100 times better than Hadoop environment. 
So it takes a real time data, YouTube data, video data, audio data, text data, and uh, so whereas uh, this uh, Spark takes uh, uh, is a successor of MapReduce. MapReduce is the heart of Hadoop that consists of two parts: Map and Reduce functions. Maps and reduces are programs for processing the data. Map processes the data first to give some intermediate output, which is further processed by reduce to generate the final output. Thus, map reduce allows for distributed processing of the map and uh, reduction operators. So, what are the major features of Spark? It is a source speed, usability, in-memory computing. Pillar to sophisticated analytics, real-time stream processing, compatibility with Hadoop and existing Hadoop data, lazy evaluation, active and uh, progressive and expanding community. Spark is the next generation big data tool that considered as a future of big data and a successor of MapReduce. So Spark uh, quickly. So it is the evolution of Spark. Is Spark. Spark is one of Hadoop's sub-project developed in 2009, UC Berkeley AMP lab by Matty Jaharia. It was open source in 2010 onwards under BSD license. It was donated to Apache Software Foundation in 2013. And now Apache Spark has become a top level of Apache project from February 2014 and uh, Spark is a distributed data analysis engine and uh, gender generalizing map reduce. Spark is a core engine with the streaming, SQL and uh, machine learning and uh, graph processing modules. So Spark core contains Spark SQL. So SQL means uh, speak query language. GraphX means Graphics means we are uh, using Facebook data as a environment. Precisely, I can say Spark is alternate to compatible with uh, HDFS, HBase, and ER. Spark SQL component to access structured data and stable API is presented. Support for uh, multiple languages, uh, Java, Python, and uh, R language, and support various. Uh, why do we want to use this Spark environment? There are five uh, re reasons. What are the five reasons of uh, Spark? Why Spark matters to business, to increase the business? Spark enables use cases in traditional Hadoop can't handle in the real-time environment. Spark is fast. Spark can use your existing big data investment. Spark speaks SQL. Spark is uh, developer-friendly. And uh, see, I would like to compare with uh, Hadoop environment. And uh, so in Hadoop execution flow, data input uh, takes, we are divided into number of tuples. So each disk uh, will uh, map with uh, map reduce. Spark uh, takes data from the in-memory computation. In the resilient distributed data it covers. Then most of the, uh, so, uh, Spark is a uh, very slow speed because it enables applications in Hadoop clusters to run up to 100 fastest in, in memory computation. It is uh, 100 times on disk. And uh, see, it is use of use allows quickly write applications in Java, Scala, or Python. Uh, we can use our programming. Sophisticated analytics supports SQL queries, streaming, oh, and uh, what are the various features of Apache Spark speed and supports multiple languages, advanced analytics, and coming to uh, coming to life cycle in uh, Spark, it load the data on cluster, create RDD. RDD is nothing but the resilient distributed data, do transformation, perform action, create a data frame, performance queries on data frame, run SQL data frames. Then uh, components in Spark Apache, if you take a uh, driver, so their uh, Spark context is presented and a workflow in worker, it is called, call it as a execution. And uh, we used to call it as, uh, 
worker execution uh, spark contest you can call it as uh, apache spark having uh, uh, like uh, spark sql we are using sql queries spark streaming mlib machine learning we are using that tool graphx graph computation and uh, spark general execution so we are using apache jupark jukeeper for uh, coordinating the input uh, front end to back end hadoop file system is presented hadoop distributed file system is presented coming to the there are uh, these are the important uh, spark official ecosystem ecosystem means user friendly you can use front end back end all the tools are presented in that one so that's why it creates uh, spark data frames like data types spark sql like execute sql queries are high work high query language high visit data warehousing tool spark streaming an extension of the core spark api mlib is a tool in the spark environment spark machine learning library graphx spark for graphs and graph parallel computation spark core api it provides various languages called r sql python scala java these are the various programming language see yamlib yamlib library has implementations for various common machine learning algorithms what are the common machine learning algorithms are available such as clustering classification decomposition regression cooperative filtering these are the machine learning algorithms in clustering clustering means a group of similar items are presented in one group is called clustering the famous algorithm under clustering is k means classification nothing but uh, dividing two groups based on the label classifying the data segregating the data there are various uh, classification algorithms such as naive bayes classification logistic regression rsvm the support vector machine and uh, decomposition principal component analysis we can use for the uh, on image data analytics and uh, singular value decomposition we can use uh, to generate the interest analytics we are using regression linear regression we are using spark built on hadoop so in the bottom layer we are having a number of uh, physical servers on top of that we are dividing uh, hdfs hadoop distributed file system and coming to the uh, stand alone you can execute and hadoop yarn yet another resource navigator spark in map reduce and uh, components of spark so i have explained already and uh, these are the various tools we are using uh, in apache environment so there are uh, various uh, operations we are performing in this one map reduce and uh, it reads the data and we are uh, storing in the disks and uh, coming to hdfs takes uh, input from the stable storage then it will divide it into number of uh, uh, parts each part will take query one query two and uh, it uh, goes on parallel computing in the ram then coming to the <coughs> uh, what are the languages supported by the apache spark it supports python 68% in the right now in the market python supports 68% now scala is 81% and 41% uses java programming 28% were using r programming language so these are the various programming languages we are using uh, with the help of spark with this one i am going to concluding uh, my session on big data analytics using spark so i would like to congratulate uh, itap uh, uh, organization and uh, the interaction between uh, professors and the students teachers and student they are uh, conducting online pri uh, uh, tutors so Uh, thank you sir uh, for giving me this uh, golden opportunity uh, for explaining latest trend in uh, it field information technology field uh, such topic is called big data so every data is presented
thank you once again uh, to ITAP Awards organization and uh, uh, Tutors Pride. They are conducted a very smooth and a successful manner. Thank you, sir, for giving me this opportunity. Sir. Yes, yes. Completed, sir. Yes, yes. Sir. Thank you, sir, for giving yes, sir. this opportunity. Sir, thank you. Hello. Sir, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Hello, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. sir. Yes. We'll meet you. again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir.